Hello friends, this is Benjamin from English Classes Online. You are welcome to today's video. Today we are going to continue our lesson on English tenses. Our focus in this video will be on the past tenses and we shall be looking at the past simple, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. In other words, we shall be looking at four ways of discussing past events, four ways of talking about the past. That's what we shall be discussing in this video. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon below so that whenever new videos are uploaded on this channel you will be instantly notified let's dive into the lesson without much ado what is tense tense is the form of the verb that indicates the time of an action or state of being mastering the correct use of tenses is of central importance to the correct use of English sentences in speaking and in writing. Of course, that is why we are devoting this video to learning the past tenses. Uh, I did a previous video on English tenses and our focus was on the present tenses. Simple present, present, uh, continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous today our focus is on the past tense and we are looking at the various forms of the verb that indicate the time of an action or state of being so let's uh, let's go ahead tenses at a glance we saw this in our previous video but i want us to familiarize ourselves with the big picture of the tenses we have 12 tenses and that is four types of tenses simple continuous perfect and perfect continuous uh, in relation to the three time frames the present past and future so in our last uh, in our previous lecture we looked at this axis the present tenses you know the present simple present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous we looked at the uses of each type of tense today we are going to look at the past tenses the past simple past continuous past perfect and past perfect continuous so let's let's proceed uh, we shall begin with the simple past the simple past tense is used to talk about actions that happened in the past it is used as follows a completed action in the past when an action was completed in the past we can conveniently discuss that action or event using the simple past examples are as follows i visited mabel yesterday the action took place yesterday i visited mabel yesterday i i mark was born in 1980 the the birth took place in 1980 that was when the action or the event took place I, 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 last year I traveled to Germany. So we talk about completed action in the past. All these actions or events were done and dusted in the past. And so we can use the simple past uh, tense to talk about them. B, a series of completed actions. For example, Jane washed the clothes, cooked the food, and did her homework. It's similar to 
the what the examples in a only that this one yeah, occurs in multiple there are multiple action not just one action but a series of completed actions the second example he came back from work took his bath and went to bed a series of completed actions then i i i she walked up to the door knocked three times and waited all right then the next use of the simple past is actions lasting for a period of time in the past so in this case we are talking of duration in the past for example i lived in kaduna for two years i lived in kaduna for two years uh, some of the errors that occur, uh, you know, with many people's wrong use of since in place of for. When you say, I lived in Kaduna since two years, that will be ungrammatical. When you are talking of duration, then you use for. If you are talking, if you are giving a specific date, you can use since, you know, but then you have to. Uh, use the uh, present perfect tense. I have lived in Kaduna since, you know, so that would be appropriate. Or oh, I've been living in Kaduna since, all right? I've been living in Kaduna since 1985. All right, so the second one, the meeting lasted for two hours. The, la the meeting lasted for two hours. So we can talk about duration something that lasted for some time we can talk about it with the past the simple past tense i i i i was awake for the whole night that's also a period of time so actions lasting for a period of time in the past can be uh, reported using the simple past all right Then the next one is the habitual or repeated actions in the past. Habitual or repeated actions in the past. For example, I, I enjoyed the game of tennis when I was a student. Of course, it wasn't a one-off event. It was something that happened repeatedly or habitually in the past. I, I, he usually asked silly questions in the class. It, it wasn't something that happened once. It happened repeatedly. He usually, and you can see that we can combine uh, this simple past tense with uh, an adverb of frequency such as usually he usually asks silly questions in the past this ad, uh, adverb of frequency uh, reinforces the fact that we are talking of a habitual or a frequent action uh, or a series a frequent occurrence then i i i he flared up each time i tried to correct him it was something that happened repeatedly each time I tried to correct him. Then he, we, we, another usage of the simple past tense is in when clauses. You know, when a, a clause that begins with the, the, with the so, uh, conjunction when or what we, we can call the uh, conjunctive uh, adverb you know when some clauses that begin with the word when make use of the simple past tense e.g. I when James heard the news he burst into tears when James heard the news the second one when Jack showed them his identity card they allowed him to go when jack showed simple past tense i i i i loved literature when i was at school when i was at school was simple past 
IV, when the police arrived, the thieves had run away. When the police arrived, simple past tense. Then, F, another use of the simple past is the so in reporting a hypothetical past. All right, an event which is imagined but did not actually occur. That's what we call a hypothetical past. An event which was ima which is imagined but did not actually occur. occur. That's an imaginary uh, event. For example, if I were you, I would have resigned. Of course, this is just hypothetical because there is it's not possible for me to become you. So if I were you, it's a hypothetical past and something that did not actually occur. It's an impossible or an unreal situation. I, I, if you loved me, you wouldn't have said such terrible things at my back. You see, if you loved me, all right, you wouldn't have said such terrible things at my back. I, 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 if I were the president, I wouldn't remove the fuel subsidy. All right, if I were the president. All right, so then G, we can use the simple past tense in reporter speech. Of course, you know uh, what reporter speech is about. For example, in direct speech, I like T, Jane said. In reporting this, we change this to the simple past. And Jane said she liked T. Jane said she liked T. So we change like to liked. Jane said she liked T. It will be wrong to say Jane said she likes T. Because that will break... Uh, or violate the rule of the sequence of tenses. All right. So let's uh, continue with others and let's look at them. Now we are through with the simple past, and now we want to look at past continuous tense. The past continuous tense. The past continuous tense is used to say what we were in the middle of doing at a particular moment in the past. The action was going, uh, the action was ongoing rather, and may have been interrupted or another action occurred. It is formed with the combination was or were plus present participle ing. It is used as follows. Now, for action happening at a specific time in the past, we can use the, the past continuous. Something happening at a given time in the past. For example, yesterday at this time, I was waiting for Sam at the airport. That was the event, the action taking place or the situation at that given time in the past two last night at at 9 p.m i i was watching the news that was exactly what was going on what was ongoing at that specific time in the past i i i at midnight mr okafo and his wife were still fighting you see that was a shameful event that occurred in the family of the Okafors at midnight at that given or specific time they were still fighting all right then b the past continuous tense can also be used for reporting interrupted action in the past an interrupted action in the past for example i was eating breakfast when jim arrived I was eating breakfast when Jim arrived. I, I, you were not listening to me when I told you to turn off, to turn the oven off. You were not listening to me when I told you to turn the oven off. We are not listening. So th this is actually the, all right. 
that's the the past continuous okay so let's take the the other exa uh, examples I, 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 while I was watching the news, the TV suddenly went off while I was watching the news. You know, the TV suddenly went off. An action that was ongoing and then was interrupted. So we can use the past continuous tense to report such events. IV, John was playing football when he broke his leg. All right, the playing football was the ongoing event. Then it was interrupted by the accident involving John's uh, fracture. Right? Okay. So let's uh, proceed. Let's move on to the next page, and we have some other uses of the past continuous. And uh, the next use is in reporting parallel actions. That is actions happening at the same time. Actions happening simultaneously. For example, he was talking while I was listening. These two actions were happening at the same time. I, I, while Rose was cooking, uh, Regina was watching the television. I, 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 Evelyn was washing the clothes and Mary was cooking the food. These two actions were happening simultaneously. Then the next use of the past continuous tense is in reporting habitual actions that took place in the past. For example, Jim was always coming to class late. It wasn't a one-off event. It was a habitual action. Jim was always. And again, we find the adverb of frequency featuring in capturing uh, habitual actions. Jim was always coming to class late. I, I, I had to leave the room because he was always smoking always smoking he was always smoking i i i i didn't enjoy my stay there because my uncle and his wife were always fighting that is that was a frequent occurrence so we have seen the uses of the uh, past continuous tense now we move over to the present perfect, uh, I mean, sorry, the past perfect tense. This was really uh, a typo here. So we have to cancel this and put past here. All right, so that's exactly what it is. Okay, so here we have it. We are talking about the past perfect tense. The past perfect tense expresses an action completed before a particular point or before something else in the past. It is formed with the combination had plus past participle. It has the meaning of past in the past or a time further in the past. It tells us about two events and shows us which one happened first and it is used as follows so let's uh, look at specific examples of how we use our past perfect tense all right and so the first use of the past perfect tense is for reporting action an action completed before another action in the past so in this case we are looking at two things that happened in the past and the one that happened first is the one we report with the uh, past perfect tense. For example, we had finished the work before Jude arrived. So we had finished. This happened first. Then Jude's arrival uh, happens uh, later. 
So finishing the work and Jude's arrival are the two actions but the one that happened first was finishing the work so we use the past perfect we had finished the work before jude arrived i i joyce had studied french before she moved to paris she had studied french before she moved to paris all right i i i the robbers had disappeared when the police arrived. The robbers disappearing and the police arrival are the two things in focus. The one that happened first was the robbers disappearance and we reported that with the past perfect. The robbers had disappeared when the police arrived. Then the second use of the past perfect tense is in reporting duration before something in the past. You know, uh, an action that had happened for a period of time before something else took place. For example, Felix had had that car for eight years before it was stolen. Felix had had that car for eight years before it was stolen. So it was something, you know, that had lasted for eight years before the event of the sad event or incidents of the stealing of the car. I, I, the family felt bad about the court judgment because they had owned the house for more than 50 years, you know. They, 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 this was a house they saw as, they, as their own for a period of uh, 50 years. And then a court judgment prob probably gave the, the house to another person. Very sad. I, 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 before Ojunwa finished her studies, she had been in Canada for over seven years. You can see a period a duration of time, a period of time, you know, we report a period of time, an event that happened, you know, for a period of time before uh, something else happened. But then what we have to notice here is that this action had been completed during that period, you know, before something else happened. She had been in Canada for over seven years. All right, seven, uh, then C, in reporting, reported speech or in, in, uh, in reporting direct speech, then that becomes reported speech. So in other words, we use the past perfect tense in reported speeches. For example, here we have a direct speech. I have done my assignment Kemi said. In this case, if we are reporting this, then of course we change this to the past perfect. Kemi said she had done her assignment. So have changes to had, and that is the past perfect. Alright, so another one which is a, a, a reported speech now, okay? That's exactly what we had already said. Kemi said she had done her assignment. That's exactly uh, quite correct. That's quite correct. Let's wipe this so we can have a clean uh, page. Then the next use of the past perfect tense is in conditional sentences. We can use the past perfect tense in conditional sentences. How do we do that? Number one, that is I, if Mabel had studied harder, she would have passed the exam. If she had studied harder, she would have passed the exam. I, I, if the super regals had been more determined they would have won the match. All right, this is a sad commentator. Having watched the match and uh, having discovered why 
this club lost all right they lost because they weren't determined enough so if the super eagles had been more determined they would have won the match i i i if they had rushed him to the hospital he wouldn't have died very sad if they had rushed him to the hospital he wouldn't have died so notice that we use the past perfect tense to report you know uh, especially in the conditional clause you see it features in in the conditional clause now every each of these conditional sentences is made up of two parts you have the conditional clause which is the if clause for instance this one all right if she had studied harder that's the the the, the conditional clause and it is the conditional clause that contains the past uh, uh, the past perfect so take note of that all right okay so let's move over to the next page so we can all right so the next one All right. All right. So okay. So the next uh, use of the past perfect tense is in a, in reporting a hypothetical past. For example, I wish I had repaired the car earlier, but I didn't. You know. So it's something imaginary. It didn't really happen. I wish I had repaired the car earlier. Then, then we look at the next one. All right. If only I had gone by taxi. If only I had gone by taxi. All right. So, is uh, some kind of uh, regret there then i i i i wish i had taken more food i am hungry now all right i wish i had taken more food i am hungry now so uh, we can use the past perfect tense in reporting a hypothetical past something we wish had happened in the past but which never actually happened then the next use of the past perfect tense is in as if or as though clauses as if or as though you, 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 you. let's look at examples of such clauses and how we can use the past perfect uh, tense in such clauses for example he behaved as if nothing had happened as if nothing had happened as if nothing had happened so this is the as if clause all right as if then the next one judith looked as though she hadn't slept all night as though she hadn't slept all night so that's another example but this time as though as though clause the other one is as if this is as though then the next one anya looked as if he had done nothing terrible as if he had done nothing terrible you know somebody committed a grievous mistake or you know damaged something and you are expecting uh, him to appear remorseful but he is just there you know uh, looking as if he had done nothing uh, as if he had done something terrible okay the opposite is the case in this case yeah this is somebody who is uh, having uh, having uh, remorse who appear appears to be remorseful when indeed he had done nothing to be remorseful about all right so then 
our last tense is the past perfect continuous tense the past perfect continuous tense is used to express an action or situation that was in progress before something or another action it is used as follows a in reporting duration in a past action before another action that's something that was happening up to a point then another action took place all in the past for example the match had been going on for half an hour before i got to the stadium the match had been going on for half an hour before i got to the stadium the next one olu had been living with folu for four years before they got married all right so they had been cohabiting for four years before they eventually got married now take note of had been and again here had been had been going on had been living all right that's the structure that the past perfect continuous tense always assumes then the next example the robbers had been operating for an hour when the police arrived the action had been in progress for such a given period then another action uh, took place iv every everything had been going on well in raf's life until his world fell apart two months ago you see everything had been going on well in raf's life until his world fell apart two months ago all right so these are the uh, examples let's uh, move on to the next one and then the next use of the past perfect continuous is in reporting the course of an action in the past for example, all right. For example, in reporting the course of an action in the past, for example, Agu failed the exam because he had not been attending classes. You know, Agu failed the exam because he had not been attending classes. So in reporting the cause of an action in the past the cause of august failure he had not been attending classes the second one mbeke was infected with hiv because she had been prostituting herself the cause of mbeke's infection she had been prostituting herself i i i Shade gained weight because she had been overeating. She had been overeating, you know, the cause of her gaining weight. She had been overeating. So we discover that we can use the, the past uh, perfect continuous in reporting the cause of an action in the past. Then the next use of the past con uh, perfect continuous is in conditional sentences for example if it hadn't been raining we would have gone to the national library if it hadn't been raining that's the conditional clause we would have gone to the national library all right then the second example if the driver had been driving carefully this accident wouldn't have occurred if the driver had been driving carefully this accident wouldn't have occurred then the the last example here if Agu had been attending class regularly he would have passed the exam he would have passed the exam 
If Agu had been attending class regularly, he would have passed the exam. Then the, the next use of the past perfect continuous tense is in reported speech. For example, direct speech, I know Jack has been lying to me, Julie said. Then reported, Julie said she knew Jack had been lying to her. You know? Then another example, direct speech, I was singing and dancing, Rose said. Then the reported version, Rose said she had been singing and dancing. Alright, so that's how we use the past perfect continuous in reported speech. And that's how it has been in today's video. Coming up next, four ways to express futurity. In our next video, we shall be looking at four ways to express futurity, four ways to talk about uh, the future. And we have these four different uh, future tenses, future simple, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. We shall be looking at these. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed today's video and I hope you have also learned uh, a lot of things that will help you to improve your English grammar. I want to thank you for being part of today's episode. If you have not yet subscribe to this channel kindly do so and click on the bell icon so that whenever new videos are uploaded including the next one the one coming up next you will be informed instantly and you will have uh, free access to all the videos i upload on this channel in uh, on this channel of course uh, I, I just want you to know this. Uh, we discuss a number of other topics that are useful to people from different walks of life. We, it is on this channel we discuss in English topics, we simplify them, we, do, we go the extra mile to ensure that we demystify uh, the gray areas in English learning and we want you to understand the English language and be able to increase your linguistic competence and that is really our aim and our mission and our goal in this particular exercise and of course uh, beyond uh, teaching English on this channel we also teach content writing content creation we share ideas with our friends and subscribers we share ideas with entrepreneurs internet marketers digital marketers or people who want to make money online people who are interested in you know uh, those aspects of content writing and content creation that can enable them to begin to earn uh, a passive income for instance we we share how you can publish your ebooks you know and start earning passive income we also we teach you how you can write a book how you can write a novel how you can write other kinds of books and how you can publish them not only in printed form but also in uh, the electronic form and we also show you different platforms where you can publish your ebooks freely of course uh, if you search on the on my channel you will find different videos discussing all these so this channel is really uh, for everyone who is interested in language english language learning in content writing in content creation in all aspects of publishing and all things that have to do with digital marketing so 
I, I want to thank you once again for being part of today's episode. Watch out for the next video and make sure you have already uh, gotten the notification uh, registered so that you will be receiving net notifications and you will always be notified. See you in the next lesson and bye for now. Remain blessed.